No, Republican candidate Gabe Evans is not spreading lies about election results, even though this ad does its darndest to connect Evans with Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Let's start with Evans' response to Kyle's question at our debate last week. Who won the 2020 presidential election, Ms. Caraveo? Joe Biden. Mr. Evans? Joe Biden. At a January primary debate, Evans was asked yes or no. Was the 2020 election stolen from Donald Trump? No ish. When asked to clarify the ish at another primary debate in June, this is what Evans said. So I answered ish there because to me those aren't uh, yes, no questions. Evans says that gays and lesbians shouldn't be allowed to marry. He even compared gay marriage to incest. Yes. But apparently not anymore. Yes, Evans filled out a questionnaire for a conservative group while running for state house in 2022 and chose strongly agree when asked if marriage is a God-ordained, sacred, and legal union of one man and one woman. No government has the authority to alter this definition. Today, Evans told me by phone that he read the question as a Christian to mean he agreed that government has no authority to tell a church their definition of marriage. The part about incest comes from this letter to the editor Evans sent to the Elbert County News as a 17-year-old in 2004, saying if gay marriages are allowed, marriage will have been redefined to include perverted and immoral practices, including incest. Today, Evans told me that was 20 years ago, and his perspective and opinion have changed a lot since then. He would make abortion illegal, even in cases of rape or incest. Not according to his current position. Here is Evans at our debate last week. I support exceptions for rape, for incest, for life of the mother, and I don't support a national abortion ban. But his position two years ago when answering this conservative group survey was to support prohibiting abortion except to save the mother's life. That was a check block survey that had two options, one pro-life, one pro-choice option. I'm pro-life, so I selected the pro-life. That survey was more than just a checkbox. It allowed for additional comments. Later on in the survey, he added additional comments about school choice. He did not add additional comments to include other exceptions for abortion beyond saving the mother's life. Here's something else that's a little deceptive about this political ad, the claim about same-sex marriage. On screen, you can see the citation says that this information was accessed July 16th, 2024. But that's not when Evans filled out the questionnaire saying he agreed about marriage being between a man and a woman. That's when the people behind the ad, the House Majority PAC, access, accessed it, that is. He filled out the questionnaire two years ago, and you heard me explain his differentiation between his theological stance on what he thought the question was and his legislative stance on what he thought the question was. That accessing 2022 information in 2024 is, is tricky. I will say, as proved out in our, in our debate recently, both Congresswoman Caraveo and Evans have shifted their positions somewhat recently on key issues like immigration, abortion, it would appear gay marriage, and voters just kind of have to suss out how much that matters to them. It might be worth watching the debate. Of course, and there's nothing wrong with a a legislator or someone running for office having a different opinion from from previous. It's the explanation. Is it beyond... I'm running for office and it's expedient right now for me to say this this time, but something else another time. Or is there a true change of heart? And let's hear what that is. Precisely right. Yeah. Show me somebody who never, ever changes their mind about anything. And they're probably dumb as a doorknob. All right. Marshall Zellinger, thank you very much.